Hello, Bible readers. Today's post considers the source of the church's hope. Our stories, our perspective, our experiences, do we make them up? Like, on our own? Is this stuff we generate for ourselves? Or we, do we receive these things from someone else, from somewhere else? In other words, are we our own gods directing faith lives for ourselves? Or are we recipients of something that lived out is a life of faith? Brueggemann says, in the community of faith, to imagine does not mean to make up. It means rather to receive, entertain, and host images of reality that are outside the accepted given. If, however, we say receive images, then we have to ask, receive from whom? Or receive for whom? The answer we give is that what the psalmists and liturgists imagine and shape and offer is given by God's Spirit. For it is the Spirit who bears witness. It is the Spirit that gives us eyes to see and selves to notice the recurring and constant faithfulness of God. It's the Spirit that cries out with us, that lets us cry out and receive God's rescue. It is the Spirit that moves in the faith of the community and in the artistry of the poet to give voice to the odd truth of our common life. The church's common life is odd. It is other. Nowhere else am I put in community with people of every generation and background and political persuasion and economic status. And we all talk about believing in the resurrection and new life and forgiveness and mercy. We are a wonderfully odd community indeed. And so we keep faith alive.